loved it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why? Because it's hard work. Is it? Yeah. So like, in what looks like nothing to me, to you is it's like different brain. My brain is. It's like learning a new. I'm learning a new thing, right? So it's. Uh, and not only that, it's the. Muscles, the twisting of your arm. Getting the right position and everything. This is part of the journey for getting Liz back onto the bike and using a bionic arm um, so that we can take a few really cool journeys, have a few adventures on the bike this summer, hopefully. Um, it's been a long, long time coming. She's been trialing it for pretty much the last six months, really. Um, the next big thing will be, uh, you know, how, how's it gonna work on the bike? Should be absolutely fine. How many years? I've probably waited about 10 years for this one. 15 years. So, somewhere between 10 and 15 years. Let's see what happens, eh? Well, we're just getting a bit of fresh air because Liz has been in there for like hours this morning. So it's been, well, it's there at night, half nine, and it's now half past 12. So you've been going, oh, three hours. So, yeah. Just laughing about how um, we get so stressed. Yeah, this is us. This is our life at the moment. Welcome to our home. <laughs> Good morning. That's the arm, by the way.
has an amazing little gyroscope inside it where Lizzie does certain subtle movements with her arm and uh, it changes the position of the hand. Anyway, more about that later. Let's go. And what we're going to do is we're going to spray Lizzie's old arm to see if we can get it to work. So here's the old arm. Let's just say that again. That's, this, is, this is the bit you're going to spray where it's got the black on it because it's all rubbed off everywhere so we can okay. redo this arm. Hold that then. It's a subtle. I've got to put it there because otherwise I can't see you. It's called the prosthetic cast. So, that's In other a, words, part of the bionic arm. This is the bionic arm being in, mode. In, in design mode. There you go, Liz. You can hold that. Ready? Straight over this. Yep. there's anybody in the world doing anything like this at the moment so she'll be the first um, first ever person so as always. as always she just said get it sprayed up get it looking really cool and funky because that's really important to Liz she doesn't have a cool funky arm it's not the same so we get the arm done and then we uh, get the bike finished off and then we start plotting our travels if you want to watch the first ever person with Barnick Arm to ride around the British Isles and maybe further, stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe, guys. Leave us a comment. We'll see you real soon. Here's a picture of me there with the first ever National Health Barnick Arm and uh, the rest of them are all waiting for theirs. So, so yeah, so this picture, right, this is Lizzie when she was a little one. I don't know if you can see that very well, but um, she was the first person in the UK to be given a myoelectric arm when she was a young girl. First ever person to do it, and as far as we know, she's going to be the first ever person not to have the bionic arm, but to at least ride around on a motorcycle. Mm -hmm.